It's bigger than a rounder's bat and definitely more expensive. Making a baseball bat requires attention to detail. The weight and thickness must be finely balanced. Metal bats can hit the ball further, but league regulations prohibit the professionals from using them. If you fancy yourself as a modern-day Babe Ruth, then this one's for you. Instead of the usual white ash, this bat is made of maple. It's impossible to tell by just looking at it whether a chunk of maple has what it takes to make a good bat. So it's weighed to see if the wood is as thick and heavy as it appears. Pointed prongs grip the wood and spin it while a carbide cutter rounds it. This modern lathe is called an XY machine. The rounded blank goes into a room called the library. When an order comes in, one of the blanks is selected to meet the required specifications. Its weight is checked one more time. The blank goes onto the XY machine. A computer guides the cutter as it moves on rails and carves into the blank. It whittles two and a half centimetres of wood from the blank in order to form a handle. It takes a total of three passes on this cutter to make the rough shape of a baseball bat. But it's quick work, completed in just three minutes. The new bat's weight is checked. A caliper is used to measure the end of a completed bat. Using a square-edged scraper, the knob is rounded as the bat spins on a more traditional lathe. With another caliper, the thickness of a finished bat is checked and compared to the one just carved. A turning tool called a skew chisel is used to narrow the shoulder of the bat. Measurements are checked as the cutting takes place. Using the skew chisel, the slope of the bat is shaped. The handle of the bat is slimmed down a little more. The top of the knob is angled using the chisel. The rest is shaped with a square end chisel. The bat's barrel is curved using the same tool. The shaping of the knob is then completed using the skew chisel. Because the tool is extremely sharp, the carving is precise. The bat is now within 14 grams of its final weight. Using an electric sander, the rough edges are smoothed down. A finer grade paper helps to finish off the job. As it's sanded, the bat is measured, because this isn't just about getting the surface smooth. The bat has to be exactly the right size and weight for the player it's being made for. The bat's knob is placed in an end mill. A spinning carbide disc cuts around the holes made by the pointed grippers on the lathes, producing a gentle scoop. A bigger disc carves into the barrel, cupping the bat. Some players prefer a cup bat because it balances differently by removing weight from the end of the bat. Now the bat is placed on the scales for final weighing, and it's exactly what the player ordered. Paint is brushed onto the barrel, and a stain is rubbed into the lower half of the bat. Decals are attached bearing the name of both the brand and the distributor. The model number is stamped in gold ink. And everything is topped off with a light coat of varnish. Now, this maple bat is ready for the big leagues, where it's sure to be a big hit.